Well, basketball season is over now, but today, good news, is the first official day of summer. Heat records are already breaking in the southwest with days of triple-digit temperatures there. And as Ephraim Graham reports, the heat wave has unfortunately turned deadly. People across the southwest are enduring a miserable Monday after Sunday temperatures broke records and soared above 115 degrees and forecasts for Southeast California and portions of Arizona. The record 115, expecting to hit 118. The unbearable heat has many turning to social media, posting photos of the boiling hot temperature readings on their car thermometers as well as their cell phones. We don't have earthquakes, tornadoes, or hurricanes, but the heat is our disaster. In Phoenix, Arizona, this 25-year-old Anthony Catella died Saturday, hiking in the extreme heat with a friend. They ran out of water. Then, early Sunday morning, a 28-year-old woman became unresponsive while mountain biking with friends. Firefighters managed to rescue her, but she died at the hospital. The weather's deadly reality even has children paying attention to the warning signs. When you're dehydrated, your head starts hurting, then you can't do anything. But when you drink water, that prevents from you getting a headache. Triple-digit heat in Phoenix forced some airlines to delay incoming flights Sunday because at 120 degrees, the air is so thin it creates lift problems for airplanes. A heat wave from Southern California to Missouri is bearing down on more than 50 million Americans. We're still looking at above normal temperatures potentially right through the end of the month. On top of that, Raging wildfires. More than a dozen large infernos are now burning across six states, including a fire in New Mexico, where at least two dozen homes have been lost. Flames have scorched nearly two million acres this year already, compared to only a half million at the same time last year. Ephraim Graham, CBN News. Well, if you read the Bible, you see that the end of it is going to be with fiery heat. I hope this isn't the end, but this is this is powerful hot. I was jogging out in Phoenix a few years ago at 108 degrees, and and your buddy does funny things. And fortunately, I didn't go very long. I would have had heat exhaustion. But uh, Wendy was out in in Vegas doing hiking just well, recently. I flew out for an interview about a week ago. And I flew in. It was 110 degrees when I got off the airplane. Oh, you could barely breathe. Yeah. And I'd already planned my hiking for uh, the next day. And I thought, please, God. Yeah. I mean, I, I, plus it's the elevation. We're at sea level here. Yeah. So, so I was hiking. Fortunately, it came down to 90 degrees. So I was hiking in 90 degree weather. But water, I feel so bad for the, the hiker mm. that didn't make it because they ran out of water. I mean, you it's desert hiking and those kind of, you've got to continually drink water well, while I, you're I hiking. Know, uh, when I was, I was wondering, I wasn't sweating. Well, I was sweating, but it, it, you, it, it, the, it, it so immediately, quick. and you just, you're not aware of it, yeah. and suddenly heat prostration takes you, but 120 degrees, oh man, our, our, ooh, our best wishes to yes. those. And what's happening is uh, this global warming thing, I'm really not into all that, but there are areas where the ice is melting and the sea level is rising. And we here in this area that we, where we live in Norfolk, Virginia, and so forth, it is very subject to tidal uh, flooding and uh, uh, a little bit more of this stuff and some areas are going to be underwater.